Hello again. Thought I would do a small addition to the AI movement and add in AI Wander and possibly Player Sight as well. So, if you remember from the last video, we had the AI smoothly walking using root motion following our fancy little block here. And that's all fun and games, but what good is that in uh, in practical use, right? It's not like you want this AI just to follow a block. So let's build onto this AI and uh, make some. Let's let's start with a wander state. So the first thing I think we should do with a wander state is over over in our. I also renamed this FSM to target. It was just called FSM. So where we get um, distances and the, the corners, and we're going to set the animator float. I changed set agent as game object from the cube to a variable just called target, uh, and the same thing in this state. So the other thing we're going to need is if we're wandering... Um, First thing actually I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this because I don't feel like remaking it after. And we're just going to put that to the side. So the first thing we need to do is if we're wandering, we really don't want them running. We're going to have them walk. So I'm going to I'm going to increase these. Right, we're going to go to a two and we're going to decrease that. And I'm going to set this to end at one. It actually, it actually was at 2, um, but at 1, and then over here, uh, it's also going to end at 1. Uh, this part here is probably fine. Uh, but the other thing we want to do is add in a clamp. And we need to put it after the remap, but before setting it into the animator. So we're going to clamp the speed every frame from, say, 0.5 to 1. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. But instead of 0.5, I'm going to leave it at 0. Okay. So, like I said, now the only difference are, are those clamps and the fact I made the target a, a variable. So if we hit play now, uh, he's just walking. He's not. He's not running anymore. He's just going to walk to the target now. Okay, which works pretty good for uh, for for the for a wandering phase. Now the other thing is now for wandering, we're also probably not going to be using a game object as a target. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're just we're going to use a vector instead. And we're going to call this target position. Copy that, bring it over here and replace. Okay. So now we have this one that uses a game object and it is capable of running. This one walks and uses a vector. And if we want, we can even add in a couple events here. Um, let's put them. Yeah, let's just stick it on here. So this is our wander state and our attacking state. Okay. So we're going to add a new FSM called site. So before we get into the actual vision of him finding a player, um, Let's build what wandering is. So, first thing we need to do is is get the agent's remaining 
distance. Full compare. So we're going to compare that remaining distance to, uh, we'll say three. And if it's less, get new position. Okay. So if we get a new position, the way we want to wander <coughs> is we need to get our current position world space, not every frame Let's add on two random floats as well. We're going to store into an X, store into a Z. We'll say negative 15 to 15, negative 15 to 15. Vector 3, add X, Y, Z. Bring it down below all this. So current position, we're going to add to the x, we're going to add x. To the z, we're going to add z. And then we are going to set FSM vector 3. target to target position to current position but this current position has been modified okay we, we've we've created two random floats have added to it and we're gonna get that and we're gonna set that um, we might have to reset the AI's targeting see we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens if we drop that okay so if I go ahead and just make this the start state now now I guess one of the other things we need is um, send event stick this guy actually over here send event to game object the owner target wander state and then come back over here so now let's see what happens he is just gonna take off isn't that pretty but we're gonna, yeah, see now this, see that little part there, we're, we're, we're gonna need to fix. Oh, oh, we did something it did not like. So that is, we set it. Let's see what happens. That was an infinity loop. So we're getting a remaining distance if it's under three. If it's under three, it wants to loop all crazy. Oh well, you know what? We should probably just stick up next frame and then. Now let's see what happens. Okay. So remaining distance is 12. He's 
go to new distance. He's turning. And of course, I mean, if, if you wanted to make this wander like a much bigger area, uh, you could always increase these values too. The other thing is if you wanted to keep his starting position and have him just wander in there, you would change this get position. You would do this at the start. You would, you would have a start state over here feed into there. So you would get that position on start and you would just not redo it. So then it would add on to it. You'd probably want to use a... F you know what? Let's, let's just do it. How about that? Let's just go ahead and do it. So we are going to set this over here. Set start. Finish. Now we're going to... <coughs> See now, now this thing we don't want to continually add to it constantly, okay? So what we're going to do is we need a vector operator. Actually, no. You know what? Be even easier than that. Let's just set a vector three value. Not have the operator. So let's make a new new vector, wander vector, and the vector is going to be current position. Now we're going to get this, now we're going to add to the wander vector. Okay, and now when we set it, we're going to set the wander vector. So now every time he does the wander, it's going to reset to his current starting position, add it, and produce a a uh, randomized position within this range. Okay. So that is our, our little AI's wander script. Pretty simple, right? So if we want sight, well, actually, first let's see how much time we have. Okay, 13 minutes. So let's cut. Let's cut the video here then, and I'll do another video based on sight and attacking. Right. So now we, we have a wander uh, FSM that generates a, <coughs> a variable for us to wander to. Now we need. How to find a character and swap over to this state and chase the character and then eventually attack the character so that is how we do ai wandering all right we'll catch you later